My name is Nicholas Nieblis. Oh, gosh. My name is Nicholas Nieblis. This is my vlog. This is my 100 subscribers special. <laughs> so exciting. My 100th subscriber uh, is named Jocelyn. Uh, you're the best. Thank you so much. Jocelyn is the number uh, 100 subscriber, but any subscriber between like 100 and is gonna be like included in this thank you video. So I appreciate very much people subscribing. My wife reminds me often enough, she uses the one that keeps me grounded. People are just watching because they want to hear what I have to say about stuff, which is kind of strange. Hang out, I'm just gonna play some songs. Not really, so I'm gonna improvise. Every I'm gonna smoke this first. I wanna do just like a, I was thinking like, should I do some songs and put some songs together or something? And I was thinking like, no, nah, let me just improvise. I've been learning how to play piano over the last uh, like six months to a year. I like kind of sort of dabbled and kind of knew how to like play some things, but like I wasn't really trying to like be like an actual whatever. I'm still not kind of like not trying. Look, I'm gonna do my best. Interesting, nice. Just like every other video that I do, it's all just off the top of my head. Uh, so, you know, take that for, for what you will. But this is just a way to say thank you guys for subscribing and I appreciate you listening to my ramblings and whatnot. It's nice to be able to ha have a little bit of community of people that kind of understand, you know? So it's cool, appreciate it. I'm gonna add a little bit of reverb. Not enough reverb. I said I got some reverb. I got that reverb. Verbs up. Ready to do it. I'm stuck in a cave. It feels kind of cool having a hundred subscribers because like you get like perks like you get uh, like a, a hundred you get um, a custom channel name like you can do your own URL I haven't done that yet I probably should but you know you know how it goes procrastination procrastination I'll finish that song tomorrow this is my vlog song it's a hundred subscribers it's a bunch of people that want to hear my bullshit I mean, do you do you though? Do you though? So I uh, shaved. I shaved my face and I realized that I, I feel like it makes me look younger. You know? I tried to do the, the thing where I tried to do it where I have a different shirt that I'm wearing every vlog, but then I realized I don't have that many shirts. You're just gonna improvise. You're gonna play piano and you're gonna improvise and it's gonna be fun. You're gonna smoke a joint and then when you're done with the joint, you're done with the piano and done with everything. And it's gonna be 100 subscribers special. And I'm just like, now that I'm in it, I just wanna smoke this as fast as possible, get this over with, baby. Let me get out of here. Just let me smoke all this weed. Let me just sit right here and smoke. Is And if you smoke, you know that that was impressive, baby. People are gonna be like, bro, dude, you need to chill out. You're kind of all over the place. And that's what you don't understand. Yeah. 
That's what uh, is going on right here in the noggin toboggan. The way I think about it, the thing that is first and foremost on my mind is the thing that's in the front of the line. Piano, for example. Like right now, I can kind of focus on this and I can focus on talking a little bit. But uh, they, they, it's almost like there's a, this line full of thoughts and then there's a single thought at the front that you're like, I want that one to be the front, but then there's all these other thoughts that <laughs> they kind of just keep shoving their way in and nudging their way in. You know, it's, uh, it's annoying. So, but you know, it's what allows me to be such a jackass of all trades. As, as, that's what I think. If my brain wasn't constantly like, <laughs> Uh, you know, maybe I wouldn't uh, know how to play music or do video stuff. And I can be proud of myself. I did it all. I did it all. I did it all. I did it all. All by myself. I have immense help here, though. Like, uh, I mean, this stuff. <laughs> yeah, this is all me. But uh, the rest of the shit that I do, what I do is supplemented by the fact that, like, I'm a stay-at-home dad. My kids are awesome. My wife is even more so. I've got a live-in grandpa. You know, I got support here and that's what makes this kind of stuff easy we work to get to the point where we could actually you know do what we want to do and we've been married for 15 years now and uh we are like literally just about there you know like we're doing the things that we want to do and it sucks because i feel like i can't really talk about that without invoking some kind of you know like obvious privilege. Like I'm, I'm very privileged to be able to be uh, in the place that I am, you know, in the neighborhood that I'm in, the with the family that I have, you know. But again, I don't want to take away from the fact that we worked for this shit. You know what I mean? Like, like we we had goals, we had desires, and we were like, you know what? Even at the very beginning, we didn't know what we were doing, but we knew. We wanted to get there together. And so that's it. Like one time in the very beginning, my wife said to me, like, whatever you do, just do it. And I'll support you. I'll be right there with you. So it's that kind of support that can really allow you to just, just kind of like flourish, you know, honestly. And I feel like this is the kind of thing that should hopefully be inspiring to other people about finding your community of people that, you know, I don't know, man. I'm just talking out of my ass now. Don't listen to me like I got nothing good to say. Everything I've said is since and before. Nothing I said is special. Is it getting boring? I feel like it's getting boring because everything's in the same key. Let's change it up. I'm talking ahead a lot because I feel like I'm I'm I'm, I'm used to this. But the camera's there now because it's like stylistically styling. Here's an idea. Lisps. Stereotypically like hated it. But like there are people who have lisps that are two snaps, a twist, and a kiss. So let's start doing characters who have lisps that aren't gay. So there you go. Uh, equality. Solved it. I, I need some more reverb. I need some more reverb. Cause I need all. I need So how do you turn this into a profession? <laughs>
right? I just want to keep, just let me be silly for a living. Uh, the stand-up comedy, sure. But g g most of the shit that I want to do is just impro improv stand-up comedy. I've heard is a thing. Maybe I'll just do that. And, and the thing is, when you start to, like, title it and identify it, then you start to focus on it and realize it's going to require more work, more effort, more practice. Find the things that you like and then find ways of doing those things in the midst of the things that you don't like or tailoring all of the things that you don't like in ways that end up with you doing the things you do like. It's hard because it takes time and effort, but eventually you will get to the point where you're just, you sit back and realize, oh shit, I'm literally only doing things that I want to be doing. That's nice. Now it doesn't last, like there's gonna be tons of times where you're like, oh, there's tons of stuff I have to do that I don't wanna do that. But overall, it's the big picture. When I talk about parenting, uh, to people, I've you know I've heard people say something along the lines of you know parenting is not just a matter of moments. It's not just a matter of like these tentpole moments where kids uh, experience something, and if you don't respond in the best way in the stressful moment, then like that moment is ruined. But that's not true. What's true about children is that like their experiences are a sum total of your interactions with them. So it's not just oh i failed in this one moment it's how did you handle that failure how did you rebound from it and then how did you respond the next time so it's the same thing with following your dreams if that's what you want to call this i feel like if you've known me uh any <coughs> amount of time that i'd be the strangest person to receive advice from I'm empty and I need another can. So I wanted to try something and I didn't know if I was going to because I didn't know if I had a can, but this is gonna be fun, we'll see. This is weak, this is, oh gosh. Okay, we're gonna try it again. Okay, that was, <laughs> that was not worth it, <laughs> not worth it. Not worth the build-up. <laughs> Stupid son of a bitch. Although if my silliness brings anyone pleasure, then I'm glad, you know? Cheers to you. I think that there is something to be said about the nonsensical aspects of humanity and whatnot. You know, just being a little freaking weirdo in front of a camera with a keyboard and a microphone. Two turntables and a microphone. That was, that was a good drum break. There is something to be said of the desire to lean into the absurdity of it all, and I think that might be part of the steps to happiness, is realizing how fucking absurd everything really is. And I understand that people just really want to make sense of everything, but it's somewhat freeing when you can just go, everything is wild. So you just gotta hang in there and just, this is some stoner ass talk right now. Just gotta fucking hang in there and just enjoy the ride, man. All right, all right, here we go. You're so fucking special. Well, I'm on creep. If the point of this vlog is to simply create and do as I want, one of the things that I I often stumble into is oversharing. So, I mean, why the fuck not, man? You know what I mean? Well, now you're just setting it up like it's going to be some... Like, I was, I was born with a third arm. His name was Hal. I had him removed, and we... We parted ways. I don't, we don't speak anymore. <laughs> Sign language, that's how we talk, obviously. Um, what was I even gonna say? Fuck, Nick, you bitch. Oh, my expectations. I feel like every single aspect of my life is on trial, and I know that that is not true because, once again, as my wife likes to remind me, nobody is thinking about you that much, to be honest, and it's true. It's like the best advice I've ever received that, hey, Nobody really cares that much, so just do you, and then, you know, hopefully you just get to continue to do you as much as you want. But there are always expectations. My expectations about um, kind of like what people, how people react when they see my stuff. Because the ultimate goal, if I haven't said it before, is to make films. I've, I've decided. I want to make movies. 
and hopefully I can show people that I'm talented enough and I'm strong enough and I'm smart enough to do that. I got the vision, baby. I can see it now, me on that movie set. Uh, just running a team the way uh, probably Karl Marx would. I'm talking about socialism, baby. Check it out. I love me some film set in a collaborative environment, baby. Because I've learned that I don't do it all by myself Unlike that previous song would have you think I said I don't do it all not by myself I don't It's gotta be with you I gotta be with you you know you gotta be with me Or anybody else To the point is you should be in community So I should be with you We don't do anything We don't do anything By ourselves it's just like that Barack Obama quote from a while ago that said, you don't do that, you didn't build those roads. Somebody helped to create this unbelievable American system that we had that allowed you to thrive. Somebody invested in roads and bridges. If you got a business, that you didn't build that. So here we go. I'm saying we don't. Do it all on our own. Well, if that song doesn't convince you, I don't know what will. I'm surprised everything's running fairly smoothly right now. This is pretty freaking cool. I'm kind of really excited about this, man. It's um, it's an it's a new thing for me. I've done this kind of piano thing before, or playing music thing before on like the Facebook, but now like there's subscribers, a hundred of them. So it's kind of like more people are definitely going to see it. Like definitely more people than zero. You know what I mean? Like there's some of you guys that are just like real people that that are like, oh, I like this person's content and I'd like to subscribe to them, which I do that too, but it's just strange to be on this end of it. So that's where I'm at. Very excited though. As I got to say, I was running out of ideas, but y'all gave me some great ideas for like more movies and stuff to talk about, so this is really great. There's something inside me that's gotta get out I don't know what to call it Maybe it's a song, maybe it's a painting But obviously it's a song I did think about like putting my hair down for this one I don't know, It'd be a great opportunity to do some slow motion and I I learned my hair down. We're gonna Elsa this bitch, and then that sounded sexist. Please take it as it was intended. That we're gonna let it go. That the phrase "we're gonna Elsa this bitch" is we're gonna let it go and just move the furk on. You know what I mean? Like Elsa was trying to in her snow castle, but then everybody just had to go bug her. Y'all asked for it, basically. This is not my fault. The stone glows white on the mountain tonight. Not a footprint to be seen. A kingdom of isolation. And it looks like I'm queen. I'm clearly only going to edit the best parts of me sinking into that. Because there were some sections that were a dog's opinion. I don't know what the future holds, but I am glad that you've decided to make me part of your viewing experience here on this platform. I'm gonna do me, and I've said so many times, obviously you should stop saying it now at this point. I think it's because I'm rallying against the overwhelming desire to 
not dooming. Everyone is struggling to be themselves because everything around them is telling them to be something else. And I despise that. I abhor it. So I, I very much want people to be themselves, and I feel though I hope to encourage people to do that through my being of myself. If I can be all this weird, then you can certainly do the thing that you think is like a little out there, honestly, right? <laughs> Point made. I don't know where or why. I'm here right now all this time I can't believe my eyes That I've made it this far this time I think I found my place I think I found where I am meant to be I think I found my place For now and forever see I think I found my place But boy do I love y'all And this has been a very special time for me I hope it has been for you as well So...